Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Surviving Mars. We have got our huge, great big new dome up here, which is still being processed and, well, that bit's actually constructed. But no, we're also building a metals extractor up here. We're going to start some actual serious production right here on Mars. This is, we've got all the plans laid out. We just need to finish finalizing all of the little details with it. What we've also got is our RC Explorer over here Research has complete. broken down, waiting for repairs. Remote controlled exploration vehicle that can analyze. So yeah, it's, it's waiting for repairs. We can't do anything with it. It's malfunctioned. I'm not really sure how you said a custom name. Uh, in the corresponding encyclopedia article. I don't know how to repair things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hope that it's one of these that can do it. And I'm going to take the RC rover right here and I'm going to bring it over to there, right to that point. Does it do, it does recharge, recall drones, move, interact, um, destroy. I'm hoping that it does have some sort of, yeah, see service area? Determines the radius which drones harvest resources, construct, service, and clean buildings. Do, do they... Do I need sector to transport scan. a person over? Anomaly found. Ooh. Wow, look at look at that sector. The sector has got... Uh, valuable metals. It's got underground... Yeah, it's got valuable metals. It's got underground metals. It's got concrete. It's got above ground polymers and metal. This, 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 this baby over here has got everything. This baby has got the whole shebang. Look at that. Polymers right there. We've got metals right there. Uh, where are you? RC transport. This is the one. Right, that one was busy charging over there. So I'm going to bring that one all the way down over here to this new sector that we've just uncovered down here. There we go. Uh, now, yeah. If I'm going to bring it down here and I'm going to get it to get those. The morale in the dome is too low. Renegades will appear. Renegades have reduced work performance and will cause trouble. Security stations can suppress them for a while. Right. Uh, does that mean that I have renegades? Uh, biome engineering. Oh, biome engineering. That's good. That uh, increases comfort of all residences in the dome. Oh, farms increase. Uh, dome bioscaping is one that I want to do. It's this one right here. We're doing Martian patents again. Uh, and then we're going to have that one to increase comfort in the dome. And then we're going to have gene adaptation, unlock new crops in farms and hydroponic farms, provide better yields. This one here, electronics factory. So it might be a good idea to get that one going. Um, this one, drone battery capacity. I'm assuming it would be a good idea to get that as well. Factory AI, robotics. Factory performance. Uh, factory performance increased by 20%. We'll take that one. All right, I think that's what we want to do for a minute. Uh, I've got a, a vehicle coming down this way, and then I've got another vehicle going up that way. So if I just put the three times speed, this bad boy here, that's the one that we're looking at. And it is on its way over to this rover all the way up here. And hopefully, when it, hopefully it will get there. Right, we now have a D constant. Oh, that's the, just the name of the dome. Um, that one is now finished, so that's just waiting on some people. We don't have to worry about that for a minute. We got a drone hub there. We got a drone hub up there that will be built fairly soon, and we got one over there that should be built as well. So I got various drone hubs, all being built. Electronics—they're all waiting on electronics, aren't they? Yeah. Oh well, they're, they're waiting on everything, metals and electronics. But down here, I do have electronics. It just seems to be it's going to take them a while. I'm not quite sure if we've got to do something extra to get them over there. Uh, I don't really know. I brought that one over. Uh, the RC, right, yes. Yeah, so you do just need to bring them within range and then they're fine. Right. Uh, so the RC Explorer has now been repaired. So that one can go over there. And that um, looking glass is uh, the, the magnifying glass. That is going to be a new tech that we can discover which is actually pretty cool i like being able to discover new techs um that one there i'm gonna bring that one down i should bring it over here i'm gonna bring that one down over to there i don't know why it just seems like it might be a good idea so these drones here what are you doing you're not doing anything drones are automated workers so why are they not bringing all of the materials up there. They, they've got a long way to go, I know. 
Maybe it's this one. No, it's not saying anything. Going to pick up machine parts. Ah, I see. Right. Oh, no. Machine parts. That's a, um, a repair feature. Maybe they're too far out for it. I'm not quite sure. Anyway, it, it doesn't really matter. Right now, what we want is... Oh, I know what I was going to do. I need to go to the passenger rocket. We've got 26 of 74 people. Available residences on Mars. 23. I'm going to just launch. I'm going to go with what we've got right there. So we've got 22 people on their way back with Cable 220 food. And I'm going to bring them over to this discovered. dome. Uh, breakthrough discovered. Sustained workload. Let's go and take a look at that in a minute. Sustained workload is that one right there. There. Doubles the performance bonus when colonists are working on a heavy workload. Okay. That's pretty good. Uh, but no, we don't want those at the moment. I want this over here. We've got smart homes. Provides a very comfortable living space for colonists. Residents will recover additional sanity when resting. Uh, residential space 4. Living quarters 14. Resident, uh, resting residents recover comfort faster compared to other residences. Apartments. Cramped quarters. And they're not good. Smart complex. Provide a very comfortable living space. Residents will recover additional sanity. Uh, residential space 12. So we've got the smart home. And we've got the smart... Um, the living quarters is 14. That's, pretty, that's a really good one. Smart complex. How much does that space? How much space does it take up? Right. So that's not quite as good because it doesn't take up as living quarters. There is space for fourteen people. The smart complex is space for only twelve people. Um, and I'd rather have more people. Uh, this one here gives space for four people. There's twenty-four in the apartments. I don't want apartments. There's four people there, and these are really good apparently. So I can do those. That's going to be... No, that's going to be 12 people again. This is no good. Smart complex. Additional sanity being recovered. I think we're going to go with just the ordinary living quarters. There's 14 people can go into there. Like that. And I'm going to put living quarters in three different sections. Like this. I'm going to rotate that round. Because I want my living quarters to all be focused in the middle like that. And I'll do one more here. Uh, yeah, you're going to go there. So they're all pointing towards the middle. And then in this dome, we can't do the Science Institute yet, or that one. I want to put in a nursery for children so that it will encourage the birth of children. I can put the nursery there like that. Um, oh, I see. We've got little triangles in there. Um, and I'm also going to put a playground in there as well so that I've got the playground. is is built and ready. So I don't need to worry about it after that. So we've got that one there. And then we're going to go into the next level. We've got dome services here. I could do a security station. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to put in an infirmary. An infirmary, I feel, is a very important um, item to add in. So I'm going to dump in an infirmary there. And then I'm going to go to a diner. Definitely going to have one of those. And that one I'm going to just put into that corner there like that. Um, we're going to put in a grocer so they've got some more shopping stuff that they can do. That one in there. Um, I'm wondering about an electronics store. I don't think we will at the moment. We will put in some of these. We can put a small garden in... Oh no, I can't put... that. That doesn't go in there, but I can put a small garden in the middle of there, which is just a little bit of extra land. A little, little bit of extra stuff. We've got a medical center there. Visitors will recover health and sanity. As long as they... Uh, yada, yada, yada. A dome with medical building has lower minimum comfort. Um, maybe I should... I'll do the medical center. Oh, no. Hang on. Right. I can choose to have either a medical center or a water reclamation. The sanatorium. Behavioral shaping to unlock this building. That one recycles 70% of water in the dome. I can put that one or I can choose the medical center. I think we'll go for the medical center considering the dome, which means that I can get rid of the infirmary. I don't need to do that one, so I'll get rid of that. Um, by having the medical center there instead. I can't do both. It's not possible to have both of them. Uh, we will go back into dome services. Now, I've got a grocer and I've got a diner being built. The open-air gym will allow a bit more social. I'm not worried about that. Um, 
luxury and shopping, shopping and gaming, casino, luxury, gaming, gambling and social. So it Sector requires a lot scanned. of people. I think we'll go for an electronic store because that allows gaming as well. So maybe people will sort of work around and then they'll come up to that one and then they'll decide that they like it. We've got another sector scanned. I'll go out to that one. Actually, I'm going to go out now. I've got one more scanning there. So if I start doing that, uh, we'll start moving up through like that. Let's go back. Actually, we'll go over here to our RC. Where is he? Got a little right there. He is. Is that that dude over there? Anomaly and found. I will take him up there to that one there, so that he'll do that. Right, we found another anomaly. We'll deal with that in a little while. I'm not going to worry about it right now. Um, I just want to make sure that we've got everything set for this rocket to come in. I've got all the houses now, so if I drop the rocket up there, all of the houses they should have everything they need. I'm also going, you know, I've got the section down here. I've got all of these. I'm going to build another load of those up here near this dome so that we've got everything up here uh, ready for this dome. I'm going to be building another dome out over that way to reach some of those items that we got there. So I reckon if I build the three things here, the three, all of the things, the storages. Milestone the, achieved. So 100 colonists. New colonists have arrived. Right. I'm going to start building these here. I'm going to go for a concrete depot. There, we're going to go in this line along here. I'm going to go for a, a uneven terrain. No! Ah, I had this all beautifully planned out, and it's been ruined with uneven terrain. This was not how it was supposed to be. Okay, we'll do this in, like, a, a, a little group like this, then. So I want rare metals. We can go there. And then I want polymers. We can go there. And we'll take electronics, like that machine parts there and then finally a fuel depot uh that one can go there right anomaly analyzed i'm gonna need dumping as well because i got that so i'm gonna build the dumping site up here a little bit more and i'm gonna start off with building a couple of those new techs are available for research building's not working oh that's you that's fine i don't i don't, I don't mind about that at the moment so I got a load of people moving in here, and we've already got different things being unloaded from there. I got 220 something food in there. We're going to have to deal with extra O2 production in just a minute, but before I do that, I want to get some um, wiring. I think I can take wiring straight out and across to there. I'm going to do it from here. I'm going to go to that one right there, and research then we will go to complete. another research done. I'll put that one to there. And I go straight up to there like that. Yeah, it does. It passes through the dome. So we'll be, able, we'll be able to construct it that way. Now, I've got... Oh, that one down there. Yeah, we've, we've got a few of them that are covering that area there. Power is not a problem. I would like to put over here some more production. Of um, I'm just going to build some more dumping sites a minute. I want three more so that I can complete this little block of dumping sites like that so that I um I don't I, I want them in the pattern like that I just want to keep a little pattern so uh, in this area right here I'm going to build some more life support stuff I'm going to put in a oxygen tank cable fault reported that one's going to go there I'm going to put in two oxygen tanks like that and then I'm also going to put in a spare water tower that one's going to go in this side like that I'm going to build a second spare water tower. That one is going to go right there. And then I'm also going to put in um, some moxies. The moxies are the ones that produce the oxygen. So I'll put one there. And I'll put another one right next to it. Uh, I'll put it there, I think. Like that. So we'll see how this comes out in a minute. Once those have all been built, we'll see how well they cope. Uh, so we've got spare oxygen tanks. We've got spare water towers, which should help supply all of this in here. i got 14 people living in here at the moment. Four of them are unemployed. If I look in here, I can start a new shift. We've got some specializations. I need geologists working in here, and I don't have a huge number of geologists. But I'm going to start all of those shifts for a minute. 
Actually, no, I'm not going to start all of the shifts. I'm just going to do those like that. And then inside the dome, we're then going to be building some extra production stuff. We want... Not the polymer factory yet, no. Um, not that one. I want the machine parts factory. That's from metals. That one's got to go inside here. So I rotate that round, and that one can go right there. This one here, all clear, um, just says it produces machine parts. Put that right back into that corner as far as we can go. There we go. So that one will build, and then there'll be some extra jobs coming out from that one as well. And uh, So we should get a load of people. Look at this. This is brilliant. Cycling through. They're doing really well on that. That is absolutely fantastic. Uh, they're refueling very, very slowly. All the way down here, we've got our rare metals busy working. We've got 1.5 stored on there. There should be a load of rare metals up here now. Yep, we've got rare metals on there. This one is gathering. That one's completely done with exports. But we've still got a load of stuff to be emptied out of it. So I've got those storage areas there. And then I've got a load more storage areas up here. I'm not quite sure how you link together all of the drone towers. Uh, so that they all do everything. See, drone heavy, drones load heavy right there. But that's because they're unloading that one. Building's not working. Which building is not working? Is it that one, is it? Machine parts factory. Insufficient metal. Oh, is that all? Right, so we've just got insufficient metals to worry about on there. We don't have anything else to worry about. I need this one to be built. I need metals and concrete to be built on there. I'm going to prioritize that so that we've got our medical facility here. I really want that medical facility um, so that we're able to actually use it properly. Now, if I zoom out a minute... Oh, there's an anomaly all the way over there. Right, uh, we'll ignore that one for a minute. I'm going to bring it down here. Sector scan. Actually, before anomaly it gets found. down here, another anomaly. Before it gets down here, I'm going to get it to recharge. I'll get it to recharge on that bit. So it'll, it'll get almost all the way down here before it does its recharge. And then it'll go on to that bit. Power situation at the moment. If we just take a quick look. This one is now full with 3,000. So stored power is 3,900. Hourly production, 228. Total demand, 186. Nothing to worry about there. The only vehicle thing that we battery ha low. vehicle battery. Yep, yeah, I know. Uh, the only thing that we haven't had so far is one of those cold fronts, and I'm not really sure how we're supposed to deal with that. We've got yeah, subsurface heater, consumption water. How does it? Wh where does it heat? Am I supposed to put that there so that like heats the domes? And how important is this subsurface heater thing? I, I've got no idea on this one. So what I'd like to do is I'm going to drop that one in right there. Just so that we've got it. And it's got power and it's got water. It's, it's being supplied with everything that it should need. Um, right, let's spin around a minute and see what we can do in here. I need pipes. That's what we want. So I'm going to go to there and I'm going to go to pipes. And I'll put one on there one on there like that yep that's all joined and then I'm gonna put one on there like that nope there right now they're all joined in so I've got water on here collecting minimum water flow will start supplying the grid at 7.5 hourly production 5 total demand 5.1 stored water 595.4 Capacity 150. This one here. Hourly production 5. That's not very good. The hourly production is now higher than... Total, oh, total demand has just dropped. Fractionally. Tiny, tiny fraction. Which means... I'm wondering if it was because... Uh, oh, that one's not got a pipe joined up. Hmm. Before I do that, I've got a moisture evaporator here, hourly production one on that one, and this hourly production is four. Oh, yeah, that's why we've got five hourly production. So we need to build some more evaporators, and I can build several of those. Those are fairly easy to build. If we go there, I've got prefabs for one of them. Only one. If I rotate... Oh, we've got no cable connection. If I bring that one... Nope. Blocking objects. Blocking objects. 
Hmm. Ah, I can put one over here. There we go. If I drop one down there, that will give me cable and everything else. I know I can run cable out to it. I was just sort of wondering how I could uh, chuck one in and not worry about it. Um, so we got that one there. So there's another moisture evaporator. I don't have any. You need prefab parts. Use a resupply or research of corresponding technology. So yeah, we don't have the tech for it at the moment. Ooh, excuse me. Um, yeah, so a little bit unfortunate we don't have the tech. This one here is now researching. Dome bioscaping. Residences in basic domes have improved comfort. That is brilliant. Unlock new crops. New spire building, hanging gardens. A beautiful park complex that greatly improves the comfort of all residences in the dome. Except I think that will replace the, the big thing that we got. Sustainable. Our uh, in-dome buildings require maintenance less often. That is good. Uh, that one is the new building. This one here, new spire building. Our ecology provides comfortable living spaces for many colonists. Okay. This, this, is, this is good stuff. This is very, very good stuff. Uh, Martian-born resilience. Don't take sanity damage when working in outdome buildings. License Martian copyrights for use on Earth. Earn two million in funding. Uh, two billion in funding. This tech is repeatable. Costs a bit though. Uh, Spire building sanatorium treats colonists to remove floors. See, I think that would be pretty cool, but at the same time, yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We will eventually get to researching it. It's just that uh, we're not going to do it just yet. We'll, we'll keep going with some of this cheaper stuff. That one's 500 million in funding. I think we will go... What's this? Fusion reactor. Generates power out of dome building which requires workers to operate. Well, we won't worry about that just yet. Fuel extractors. Production increased by 30% as long as the building is supplied with fuel. Uh, deep water can exploit deep water deposits. Reserves, water reserves the size of Lake Superior are predicted to be present deep beneath the surface. So we need the deep scanning to be able to sort of... So we go for the deep scanning. The deep scanning and then that's going to unlock other resources that can be found later on. Which is pretty cool. Okay, uh, up here we've got four people working on there. And we've got in here three people working in there. This one is an engineer and he has his correct specialization. And so does that person there. So we've only got two people working in there at the moment. This one right here has got... Um, well, that's a scientist working in there. No. And no, we don't have anybody working in their correct specialization in the sanatorium there. But we got a few people there. We do have some people there. We've got one person on each of those shifts. So I got a lot of jobs vacant in this dome. I got 14 people. I got 11 vacant work slots and 28 residential slots. Um... We got one youth, eight adults, and five middle-aged people. Fifty-five comfort for the comfort threshold, and actual comfort in this dub. Average sanity is ninety-three. Actual comfort is only fifty-seven. No relaxation. Service buildings are full. Oh, relaxation is that one. Inside today, five. So I need to build a park don't I, so that I can have some more relaxation. Uh, we got relaxation there. Comfort service, service comfort 40. Oh, they're all the same. Okay. Small garden, projector lamp. Go for a stone garden there. Much zen involved with the stone garden. There we go. We'll, put, we'll build that, we'll get that one built in there and that should help the situation a little bit. I've got jobs going up there. I've got some more jobs dealt right. Now, this one down here. Um, oh, you're not joined into the network, so I need to put a pipe in for that one so that we join that one into the network. If I take a pipe there, it's difficult to see sometimes. You get so much stuff here. I do that like that. That one's now connected into the network. So the network is now producing 6 and demanding 5.1. You over here... I'll build, uh, build another pipe and I'll put that one into there like that. Get rid of that. So you are water 1, power 4.4, which makes me think that the network is now total demand 6.1. So these heaters, they actually use quite a lot. Service area, increase the area will greatly increase the water consumption. Wow. Subsurface can go all the way out like that and I can bring it all the Cable way in like that. Reported. 
I'm going to put that right down as low as it can go. No, it's still one on water. Service range. Five hexes. Still one. Water consumption, 5.6. Total demand. Right, we can... Uh, actually, I can bring that back one, I think. Like that. I don't know if it's just got to be inside the dome or if it's got to be covering the entire entirety of the dome. I'm not sure about that because we've not experienced the, the whole cold front thing. So that, that, that bit is sort of very exciting stuff still yet to come. We, we, we're going to find out about that bit later on. Now, we can increase the water production of this one. I think that you could put two water things next to each other. We've got this amount of water that is stored here. Get rid of that. There, look. We're at, we're down to eight and a half Sector's thousand already. Scanned. Anomaly found. We've got another anomaly. Okay. Uh, I wanted to go to RC Explorer. You're over there and you're charging up. I was going to bring you down this way so that you can do another anomaly down here. Where is it? There it is. We've got that anomaly right there. So I'll get you come down there and explore that one. Let's zoom out a minute. We've got that one there. We've got so we've got a, a line of anomalies coming along here, which is ideal. We can go up there and we can do that. I got water there. I have no more water at the moment. So we we'll, we'll zoom in here. I got water along there, and in order to get that, I'm going to need some drone hubs, and then build the water situation all the way out there, so that I can pipe it back into the base. More water evaporators would also be very, very useful, but I'm not sure where we get those on the research tree. I'm looking along here. I can't... Oh, uh, Unknown Tech Robotics. Oh, it's just in the robotics section. Drones, rovers, and shuttles. Physics. Power production. Engineering. Domes. Uh, food production, life support, and medicine. So, water... The, the water thing should be over up here somewhere. Hmm. I had a feeling we need to bring back some more water evaporators to be able to work properly and effectively. We'll, we'll have to wait and see on that front. Metal extraction is going all right. I've still only got I've only got three people working in there though, and only th yeah, that's that's not ideal, is it? There are two people working in there. What's the dome as a whole doing? Fifteen people working here now. And if we look down to the other domes, I've got this one here, which has still got this yellow outline, and I really don't know what that's all about. And nobody else seems to know either. I've had people sort of speak about it, and, and nobody seems to know exactly what it is. That one's not doing anything at the moment. This dome has 24 vacant work slots, 3. We've got 24 of 36 people there. This dome down here has some vacant work slots. I've got 29 colonists working in here. Food, though. Food we seem to be Media okay with. Uh-oh. Oh, dear. That's, um... Oh, so long as they, they, they'll get in there quick and they will come along and, um... Yeah, see? Look, repairing already. They're really Research quick with repairing. Complete. Anomaly analyzed. Ideal. We got dome bioscaping. That one was... Which one was it? There. Basic domes have improved comfort. Right, so all of these guys should now be much happier. Average morale, 59. Average comfort, 57. I One colonist need luxury. One needs dining. I've got no dining in that dome. I've got dining in this one. Comfort, 70. No gaming there. And this one all the way down here has comfort of 68, which is pretty good. So it's only that dome there that is really low. And I am actually seriously considering getting rid of this dome completely. I don't know if I should. I've got four people in there. Daily research. Uh, yeah, see, i got a load of research here. And I think I got it's because I got the heavy workloads that it's, um, it is causing a little bit of stress for people. i got the farm there that's not actually working. But I've already got um, slots that aren't worked. So I don't need to worry about those for a minute. Malfunctioning cables. They're busy repairing those. They're, they're, yeah, they are dealing with them. Uh, RC Explorer, what do you do? Yeah, I need to bring you over to that one there. Like that. And then you, uh, you're carrying polymers. I'm going to research. I'm going to go for that there. Actually, I think I should do, uh, like, just research everything in general. No, I don't. Um, 
Give command to harvest resources. There. I see. Oh, right. You can just get. I can just gather everything. Ah. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. I'm just going to load metals here. They'll, it'll load metals all around that area, and then I don't need to worry about him. Uh, building's not working. Why aren't you working? Why are you not working? Uh, this building has malfunctioned. Drones can repair it with two of those. Oh, I see. Right. Are they on their way? I can ask uh, their... Maintenance already required. Right, they're on their way. The drones are on their way. They're bringing some metal. Um, uh, bringing some spare parts, actually. It's uh, those there. Machine parts. Right. They're on their way, and they're dealing with that. So we don't have to deal with it, and we don't have to concern ourselves with it. This all the way up here oh, is Anomaly slow. Analyzed. They are, they are doing it, but it's slow. New techs are available for research. There's more to the barren environs of the Red Planet than meets the eye. A veritable treasure trove of undiscovered knowledge and wonder. So long as you know where to look. Even the tiniest simply looking rock can contain the answers to mysteries which perplex a human mind for generations. Sometimes it takes just a simple discovery for it to assure us of the vastness of the universe and encouragement to make us look beyond the boundaries of our existence and into the future. The following texts have been revealed on the research screen. Deep Metal Extraction Meteor Defense System. We got, uh, where, where's deep metal? Ooh. Meteor defense. There we go. Uh, we've got deep metal extraction. 10,000. Good gravy, man. Um, and then we've got meteor defense system. MDS uh, destroys the falling meteors in range. Low density of the Martian atmosphere makes meteors especially dangerous. That one costs 10,000 to research as well. Uh, deep water extraction. Nuclear phase. We want to do that one, and then we can start worrying about some of these others over here. Uh, sustainable own dome buildings require maintenance less often. Let's go with the deep water extraction next. After we've done these others. Uh, so yeah, that is is slowly building up. It is slowly getting there. It's going to take a while, but it's it's doing it. So we are getting the bits and pieces that we need there. In here, we have got uh, two people working there, which means that we do have gaming being taken care of in this. This dome as a whole, Comfort 67, a one person who can't drink. They have a problem with not being able to drink, but other than that, everything is good. This one here is only 57 Comfort. Um, I got four colonists that can't go gaming. I do have gaming available elsewhere. That's the worst dome at the moment, so that's the one that is most likely to be eliminated if we decide to eliminate a dome completely now what else are we wanting to do at the moment i was thinking about getting the water wasn't i because if we go back over this way look our water situation at the moment demand is 5.7 and production is six we're very close to limit very very close to limit Production here is 16, demand is 4.9. So oxygen, not an issue. We have no concerns whatsoever about oxygen, but we do have concerns about water. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start building out this way. Uh, I want production. Don't I? No, life support. Water extractor. Extracts water from underground deposits. No production during cold waves. How long does cold waves last for? I don't know anything about these. Uh, so let's go there. Requires too far from working drone commander. So I can drop that one there. I could actually put two of these together side by side. And then that would double up the output. So I got no drone commander there. I'm going to put two water extractors right next to each other like that. So that they're both able to work on it. And then I'm going to take a pipe from there. That is going to go out that way. Like that. Oop. There. And we're going to go in a straight line there. Can I go... Where do I want to go? I want to go... Actually, I want to go down this way. I want to go to there. And then down that way. And... Like Sector that. Scanned. And then I want to move up this way. Like that. And then I will bring that all the way in here, like this, which will connect into the entire system. The whole system there, I've now connected into it. 
So the next thing I will do is I will go back and I'm going to need power. This is going to be the expensive bit. I do have to run some power out there. So we're going to take a power cable from there and we're going to start running it out this way. It's going to follow the exact same line that we've been on with our water pipes because you can do that. You can put them underneath. We're out of range of the drone commander, I know. That's fine. We'll get to that. Bring you all the way over there and put you into there like that. There. And then we will go back into infrastructure and we will go to a drone hub. And I'm going to put a drone hub there like that. And I'm going to put another one to there. And I'm also going to put another one up here so that I've got some overlap going on these. Like that. And I'm going to put another drone hub there. And then I'll put another drone hub over here. I got I want decent overlap on these drone hubs. I want lots of overlap. And I am putting drone I'm putting lots of drone hubs out here because we got metal up there that we'll be extracting later on as well. Now it's gonna take a while for them to slowly build out and get all of these things, but they will eventually come out and they will build up all of those bits and um, they'll sort of just move out further and further and further until they eventually get everything that we want them to get. Um, I have got Lots of polymers there. I've also got lots of other things. I want to go... No, I want to go to the RC transport. He's loaded everything up down there. What's that? Let me go over to there. What? What is this? This is... Oh, it's more polymers. Okay, let's take you and I'll just get those two polymers there. This bad boy... Let me just zoom out a minute. I want to go into there and I want him to research that bit. And then over here, what have we got? I got metals. More metals. I got lots and lots of metals. You've gathered up the polymers that I told you to get. We've got 27 on board at the moment. So I'm going to bring you all the way back up here. And I should have a universal one right there. So I would go like that. Unload resources onto there. Unload all resources. Perfect. There we go. Right, so that that's that bit done. And as, as these unlock now, I'll... Um, I got three of eight electronics and zero of twelve metals. All the metal is gone on there. And... Oh, crumbs. All the metal is gone up there as well. I've got this one here, which is turning... Daily production 1.9, stored machine parts, stored metals, 3.5 out of 5. That requires um, electronic parts to maintain. So I've got... Machine parts being made, but not very much in the way of metals. I need more metal. This is a bit of an issue for me. I need more people working on the shifts up here so that I can get more metals being um, produced. I've got scientists there. I've got co correct workplace specialization plus 10, but morale there minus 4. There were no secrets to find near the anomaly site. Just a scene of breathtaking beauty. Such photo ops have proven to be useful for the mission, inspiring people on Earth to believe that humanity should create its new home on the Red Planet. In fact, a celebrity applicant is available on Earth. Ah, okay, let's go back to the... There. Passenger rocket. I got 14 people. So, who's the celebrity applicant? Available residences on Mars. I'm gonna just... Uh, uh, does it say who they are? Specialization. No. Back. Perks. Say celebrity. No. Back. Quirk. No. I don't know who it is. It doesn't say. Passenger rocket will deliver. Difficulty bonus 50%. Uh, I'm just going to launch with the 14 people that we got. I mean, if I look into Quirk. No, not Quirks. Uh, I said I didn't want tourists, but if I go into floors right here, we've got gamblers, gluttons, alcoholics, idiots, loners, population over 30, yeah, that's going to happen in a few of the domes, coward, double sanity loss from disasters, can be caused by sanity breakdowns, I don't mind having the coward, I suppose, so we've got two people coming in, we've got melancholy people here already, uh, chronic condition, loses health each day, Lazy. No, we don't want lazy. And we don't want idiots either. 10% chance of malfunctions. 50% chance to lose 20 sanity when visiting a casino can cause... Uh... 
I don't have a casino. I have no casinos at the moment. I suppose I could go alcoholic and get some more people. But I have no alcoholics available anywhere. If I go for gambler, I got an extra five people coming in there. Um, gluttons produce more. I got. The, I've already got hypochondriacs. Whiners lose sanity when low on comfort. I'll take those as well. So now I've got... No, I'm, I'm actually going to get rid of those. So I've got 21. That's fine. 21 people of the 22 spaces available. That's fine. So we've got 21 passengers turning up. I'm going to drop them up near here so that I've got a load more people working and filling out all of these positions. That should, I'm hoping, help to make things run a little bit more smoothly. Now you, I need more metal. We desperately, desperately need more metal. So let's have a look and see where the best metals are. There's got 49 down there. Uh, I got 27 above surface. I got 38 above surface here. So let's go over to this one. Where are they all? I'll bring you over there. That's metal. None of that is. Uh, 27 metals there. Oh, it's, it's those 38 there. That's what I want. So I'm going to bring that one over there, and I'm going to research complete. General training is re is done. I'm going to bring him over to there, and then I'm going to RC... Ex no, not RC Explorer. Ah, I didn't want to do that. No, you, I want you down there to do that one. Your battery is about to die as well, which is not great. Um, and then I'm going to go to the RC Transport. He's on his way up here. This is the one that I want. And he's going to go to that metal right there. I'm going to start picking that up. I'm actually going to go to Create Vehicle Transport Route. Low. No, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that either. I'm going to go... I'm going to take you, and I want to create route. I want to go there like that, and I want metals. And then I want to bring you all the way over here, so that you unload the resource on that one. There like that. Perfect. Right. Now it'll do that. So I have the bat vehicle battery low, which is this one down here. Uh, hopefully he'll be able to scan the anomaly. Actually, you know, it doesn't matter. I can go for the RC rover over here and I can bring him down and he can do the recharging. What's the battery situation? His battery situation is just fine. Right. So we've dealt with that bit. General training. I did... Uh, that was... Oh no, that was Martian patents. General training. Colonists without proper specialization suffer a lower work penalty. That is really good. That is really going to help us along. Behavioral shaping. I really do think that we should consider that one. Martian copyrights. Again, I want to consider that one. Battery optimization on the robotics. Uh, gene adaptation unlocks new crops. Let's go with that one back there. Go for the cheaper ones. Just because we, we, we're going to sort of work our way through that. So we are rapidly expanding now. We're going out and we're moving out a lot further than we were. We're starting Anomaly to bring this out here. Uh, new There's text. more to the barren environs of the red planet than meets the eye. A veritable treasure trove of undiscovered knowledge and wonder. Right, we already so had this one. You know so where to look. Uh, Martian born strength. Stem reconstruction. That's uh, so these over here. Uh, yeah, well, we got that sustained workload there. Doubles the performance. I should cue that one in. I really should. Let's take take that one off of there, and I'll cue that one in first. Um, but no, we've got home collective residential building upgrade. Increase the service comfort of the building by ten. And Martian born strength. Martian born don't take sanity damage from disasters. Stem reconstruction, retirement age and death from old age happen later in a colonist's life. That's actually pretty cool. Farm automation, farm hydroponic farm and fungal farm upgrade. Automation decreases the number of workers needed. Again, very, very cool. So I think we'll go for that one as soon as we can. Uh, yeah. Let's leave these. That is the electronics factory so that I can build an electronics factory when I need to. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna mess around with any more of it just for a minute. I'm gonna leave that one running. Um, so up here now, we got 17 people. We are quite comfortable up here in this dome. Everybody seems to be happy. I got loads of food up there. 180 food altogether. I got exports uh, still coming in. I got 24 food on board as well. 
And if we move on down this way, food, I got loads of it. We got plenty of food. This one here, comfort has gone up to 63. This comfort down, uh, that's on 72, which is good. And that one is 69. That one is quite good as well. So we, we got the people up. They do slowly move around. I've been told that they do slowly move around and they cycle about until they get to their um, the various work optimizations, which is absolutely fantastic. It does mean that we don't have to worry about it too much. Um, it's seven Sector people in there. Scanned. Anomaly found. Three people there. Good. We got another sector done. I want to go down there. And your battery is almost dead, but you're here. You have come to assist. Recharge that one. So if I do that a minute, I can actually fully recharge and it'll take half of that battery off. Because then I can head over this way and I can start researching that anomaly over there. Uh, yeah, I think that's pretty good. So, oh, we got, a, we got a dust devil over here. Those are problematic. We don't want those. I got... Oh, we're bringing out resources over here now. Uh, 6 of 12 metals onto that one. This one down here is 11 of 12 metals and 8 of 8 on the rest of it. That's going pretty well. You are ready to go. You've Everything's unloaded. You're fully loaded with exports and you're fully refueled. So you can go back to Earth. You are ready to land. And I'm going to let you land up here. You're going to go right up there. I know that actually I've got a load of food and everything on you. I think maybe we want to put you down here instead. So if I drop you in there, like that, uh, some of that food might be brought down over here. This is what I'm thinking. I don't know whether we want to do that or not. Concrete is starting to run down. Maybe I should start getting some more concrete built. I don't know yet. We will see. You're half full on battery. You're doing fine. You are full on battery. Why are you not charging it up? There. I want you to charge that battery completely. You gonna do it? New colonists oh, it does have arrived. half the it does half the battery each time. Right, let's go up here. And we can take a look. So they should have moved most of them will have moved in here. I got unemployed people seven. So I've got a load of people in here who are on their work specialization. These people out here, I'm gonna start that work shift now, and there's four people going into there. You in this one, I'm going to start that work shift as well. So I don't have any unemployed people here. That's what I don't want. Um, the diner is fine. That one is fine. That one is fine. And then I've got people living in there. We're all good. This is this is looking really good now. I'm quite pleased with this. So I've got full shifts on that one, which is going to really boost our metal production. And then this one here, I've got one shift only. But I've got engineers all the way across the board on there. Um, which means I could actually start thinking about getting another production system going. We've got an electronics factory there, which is, that's rare metals. Um, I'm making machine parts, drone assembler, I don't know what that uses, polymers is water and fuel, fuel refinery is fuel from water, and then I want more water and fuel so that I can make the polymers. So those two need to be outside over here. I'm getting the water production, I'm going to wait until I got this extra water production online before I start doing that. Electronics factory. Now we've got down here, let's just get rid of that a sec, and over here, this is the rare metals here. Uh, I've got 43 rare metals at the moment. I've got some rare metals on their way back to earth. I got rare metals being produced at a good rate. 6.6 uh, .6 daily production. I've got 414 still to extract from just that area there. So I got those 44. And I got two ships up here. This one right here is not taking exports, but the others are. This one up here is busy taking exports. So I got some exports being taken and I've got some being stored question is, do I want to start turning some of those in? I think I should start turning some into electronics. I think that is a, a thing that we want to do. So if I bring that one in there, uh, rotate that round, we can have our industrial situation going on over here. Um, what does that take? Good gravy. 30 workers in the electronics factory. 
Right, that's that is it. That is a, a big deal. That is. So we got we got thirty people in here. Look at this one. I got two, three people there at the moment, and I got a couple of them coming in as well. So maybe I, you know, I've only got one shift of those. The metal out here. I got full three. Sh yeah, I'm going to keep control. the three shifts on there. Oop. We're receiving a priority transmission from Earth. Several hours ago, the linear and CSS programs detect an incoming cl cluster of meteorites from the asteroid belt. Their trajectories are likely to converge with the Martian orbit. Meteor and impacts are likely to intensify during the course of the next few weeks. Expect several meteor storms to hit Mars in the next 10 sols. All personnel, keep calm and watch for meteors. Okay, this could prove a little bit of a problem, but I'm sure we will get through it. Look, we got a drone hub has now moved on out. Uh, the only problem is they, they don't seem... To, why don't they link together? Why do they not link closer together and, like, boost out? Like, that one there. See, I've, I've got that. I know that I've got... They don't seem to cross over. Well, I don't have any metals. I think the drones situate... I think they're like the, the drone as a whole. You need drone prefabs to order new drones. Drone prefabs are produced in the drone assembler. Recall a drone and dismantle it into a prefab. Um, destroy the building. Do anything else. Drone workload heavy. So we've got several drones Funding here that received. are working quite hard. Uh, we've got 750. Mystery log. Meteors incoming from Coronis asteroid cluster are about to intercept Earth and Mars orbits. All right. The mystery log. Countdown. Time to impact. Nine souls, 18 hours. Two buildings not working. Why aren't you working? What's wrong with you? Oh, it's waiting on metal. See, metal is a bit of a problem at the moment. Partly, I think, because of all the things that we've done. Now, this one right here is daily production predicted one electronic, uh, stored rare metals, three of five. So it's quite slow on the electronics production front. That one's working, and it's producing 4.2 parts, which is good. And you are producing 11 and you've got nine people working there. So you're doing well as well. The, si the, the biggest problem seems to be that I don't have um, the long range all the way out here. They're not coming out all the way out here. I mean, I guess I don't need to have that wire all the way out there, which is why they're currently not doing it until I get everything all the way out this far. But I still need you to be built. I don't know how to... Uh, oh, I know. If, if I prioritize that, then they'll come out and they will do that first. They'll take the metal and they'll take it up there. If I go to the RC transport a moment, I got 26 metals on board that one. I can go over to polymers there. Sector scanned. And I've got more metals elsewhere. I know I've got some more. What's that? Am I sitting on top of metal there? If I no, I'm not. It's um, it's it's just got some metals there. Right. So you've now got two polymers on board, plus those other bits and pieces there that you already had. Uh, what else have we got? Let me zoom out a little bit and see where we are. What we've got? I got nothing there or in those areas. You over here? You don't. I got 27 metals all the way up there. So let's zoom in here. Where is those 27 metals? They're not there. They're not up there. They're all the way over here. And I've got 28. No, I don't have enough room to carry it. So what I'll do is I will bring that back down this way. I'm going to unload it all the way down here. Like that. Uh, no, 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 no. Don't do that. Uh, unload resources. There. All. All. And I'm going to bring it. I'm bringing it down to here because I'm hoping that that way they'll bring it out this way rather than up towards the dome. I know that I've now got this one on prioritized, so I'm hoping that will help as well. We'll have to see. I don't know how this works properly, uh, but if I go like that and then I right click, this tells me everything. I've got 66 electronics and 29 metals. Water shortage is 0.2 currently. I don't have anything else. I'm going to need to bring another. I know what I need to do. I know what we need to do. We need to go back to Earth and we need to go to a cargo rocket. I've got 4.29 million at the moment. Prefab buildings. I can get a moisture evaporator, but they cost... They're 200 million apiece. 
Sterling generator, machine parts, factory, electronics, polymers, uh, fuel refineries. I don't want to worry about any of those. I don't want to worry about any. So it's the moisture evaporator is the only one that I really want. There are only 200 million. So if I get five of those, there's one billion of those. And then electronics, I'm going to get a few of those. There's 500 million there. Machine parts, polymers as well we're going to build. I've got some machine parts already. So if I go for 25 of them, and then I go 25 of these. Yeah, so we don't have a lot. We don't have a huge amount. Metals as well I want to do. I get some, uh, get some more metals coming in. I mean, I don't really want to bring lots of metals, but cargo capacity is 5,000. That's all we got left, which is one lot of these. So we'll go for... I don't know which one to go for. Electronics, maybe? They're expensive, and we're not producing them very fast. Let's go for another lot of electronics. And... No, I'll tell you... No, let's, let's not do that. Let's go back into the prefab buildings here, and I'll get some more of these. I want more water coming in. As much, I want as much water as possible. The water is going to help because then we can start building fuel and then we can make our own um, polymers. But we need a lot of water to be able to do both of those things. I got an issue there. Oops, no. You, you go and do what you were doing. Before maintenance. I don't know what to do with that. Um... Assign to target hub. Right, I moved him. Oh, he, he, he sat there and then he, he moved of his own accord after a little while. So it's, it's, it is all okay. Still 0 of 12. There. Why is that not doing anything? I don't understand how this works. I think it's to do with the range of the drone hubs. If I put down a new tower. Uh, power. No. Infrastructure. Sensor tower. Boost scanning speed, especially for nearby sectors. Extends the advanced warning for disasters. Shuttle hub. Houses and refuel shuttles facilitate long-range transportation Resources are low. Uh, between depots and resettling of colonists between domes. Oh, that might actually be useful. And then I can salvage. I'm gonna try throwing another sensor tower down here just to see what that does. See if it will help boost this a bit. Low on metals. Yeah, I know. That's the that's the problem. Right, so we have run out of time. I cannot do any more today. We will carry on next time. I'm not quite sure what we're going to do. I don't know where we're going to go from here. I've got some vacant work Research slots there. I've got 44 complete. of 50 people there. Um, micro manufacturing is that one, which is... It allows me to build the electronics factory, so I don't need prefabs. That one there is going to increase performances by 20%, which is going to be incredibly useful. Uh, this one here, the farm automation, I think that would also be really useful. Waste rock liquefaction. Drones can extract concrete from waste rock stored in dumping sites. Brilliant. So that'll, that'll give us a bit more uh, concrete. Archaeology, engineering, new spires, building. Uh, Martian settlements are becoming less than just mere shelters. Provides comfortable living space for many colonists. We, I think we might go for that one. In dome buildings require maintenance less often. That's great. But no, I want that one. That one there will add on to the queue. Okay. So, yeah, we're going to keep working on building this dome up a little bit more, I think. Uh, well, I also need to find out how the this all works properly. Because these why aren't these drones working? Why aren't they going and getting the metal? Do they only go... Is, it, is there only like a, a certain amount of range? In which case, um, that would sort of explain why they're not building out. I mean, they, they did eventually. They built some of these eventually. Look, five of eight all the way out there. It's just taking a very, very long time to get there. So I'm assuming that they do eventually do this. It might, unless I need to go and get all of the bits on the RC transport. Uh, that one. If I was to get the bits on there and bring them out this way, tip them onto that one, and then would they build then? Have I got to manually do that? And rather than... See, this is this is all stuff that I don't know about. This is all Vehicle stuff that we're, we're going to... Low. There we go. Put you over there. 
It's all stuff that we're going to work on at another time. Yeah, you're, you're busy reloading. You're fine. Um, but anyway, this, that really is all i got time for. So if you enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.